said moments ago about unpredictability in a specific subject, and that businesses don't have a handle on the uncertainty of things that are going on right now, and therefore the, they might hold them back from spending money. Uh, there's also the unpredictability in everyday life of people. You don't know if you're going to get stricken with an illness, you don't know if you're, you're going to get an accident, and before you know it, you go to the hospital for 12 hours and you have a $5,000 bill because of a kidney stone or, or a bit, an illness that's unpredictable and if you're 60000 all of a sudden you, you as a person are in debt. So is it better to have businesses have uncertainty and unpredictability or a collection of people? It's a really good question. But bear in mind, when you're talking about a collection of people and the uncertainty I'm speaking of, it's not uncertain that it deals with medical conditions because I've been there with that kidney stone. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's the uncertainty that either that stifles economic growth. So if you're looking at it purely from an economic model standpoint, it's the uncertainty of both the people and the employers that create the uncertainty, or at least that, that do not allow the pump to climb in the first place. Think about it this way. Um, I represent a lot of businesses in my law practice. And a lot of these businesses think that they would love to expand or to hire. But if they look out to the future and they sense the uncertainty, they refuse to expand or to hide. And so a pool of money does get created. And we've seen that even in Wall Street and other places. We have this big pool of money waiting to come into the market. Private money. Money that would better stimulate the economy. But they're holding back because they're uncertain and they're afraid. So to answer your question, it's never good for anyone to be uncertain. But I'm talking about it purely from that kind of model standpoint of what drives the economy. And the reason it does drive the economy is because 80% of our economy is pushed forward by consumer spending. If I'm fearful, I'm not going to have a job. If I'm fearful, I'm not going to have uh, confidence in my future. Instead of spending, I put it in my pocket. And all of a sudden, the economy grinds to a halt. That's really all a recession is. Mass uncertainty, less spending, the economy slow. You inspire that certainty back into you. You see the economy is back off. But you can't do it with all these varying proposals from a thousand miles away that may or may not be passed. That's the uncertainty. Just for just so sure.